Hey there, everybody. This is our preview for The Bachelor Presents. Listen to your You're heart. You're already giggling. We I, just started this video. I can't. I, there's a part of me that just, I, I, I hate that they've put presents in here. It makes this sound either so pretentious or they're just distancing themselves from their own show. That second one. It's probably the second <laughs> one because this is a mess. But it is going to be a fun mess and we need a mess in the world right now. I am invested. I am invested in whatever this is. And I real why are we bringing in new people? Like, that is the first question that I have because we already have... 16 people left. I barely know who these people are. It's true, but we need to keep bringing in new people and mixing it up. I don't even like when Bachelor in Paradise really does this, and I kind of know who most of those people are. Well, that's kind of what's happening here. They've just taken that model and threw music all over it, and here we are. It's Bachelor in Paradise. New show. With a bunch of people who are like Jed, except some of them seem to actually be likable. But I will not I will not put the Jed curse upon everyone on this season. Yes. But yeah, it feels like we're getting new arrivals. And of course, if you're bringing in like dozens of people who all have either probably lived in Nashville or near Nashville at some point, some of them are going to know each other. And it looks like from this preview, somebody does. Yeah, we will talk through that. Before we do, if you guys do like this video, give us a like, subscribe, and ring that notification bell. We already have a full reaction to episode one of This Insanity, so be sure to check that out yeah, as well. Yeah, we'll link that below. Yes. I don't know if Trevor is a Nashville dude or whatever else. I just link that a lot of the music community to that. But some somebody who was arriving to the show who claims that they know an ex of Trevor. They have heard things, and all of a sudden, it feels like Jamie's I always choose the wrong guy confessional. There's just this, like, cloud of darkness that is hovering above it now. Yeah, it seems to be coming back. We saw her in the preview crying through that she always gets cheated on. I don't know if that means that that's happening now or she's projecting what she's worried about yeah she's just it seems that she's heard some stuff now trevor's i guess we saw him in a room alone where he looks like he's getting really upset i mean it's gonna be interesting to see it kind of how it all plays out because if somebody's gonna come in and be like oh i know an ex uh, that knows this person that knows this person you need to come in with receipts i don't know anything about trevor yet all i know is that he seems to like jamie that's all i really know about him and that he has a jacket with some fur on it <laughs> so outside of that i don't know anything and i don't know who this new person is either I just feel that if you're going to come in and you're going to talk trash about somebody, you need to be able to back it up because like this guy, like I said, we don't know anything about him. He may actually be there to find love. He may actually be everything that this girl says that he is, but you need to kind of prove it in some kind of way. Details, some sort of receipts. <laughs> it's. It's difficult, and I, I don't know what you do about this situation. We just went through this to a certain extent already on Peter's season with all of the Victoria F stuff that went down. Yeah. And it's, it's difficult because I think if you know something about someone, you want to tell them, but then if you don't have any sort of proof, then you sort of have to question whether or not that person is being legitimate, and it's all complicated. It's all messy. I don't, maybe somebody just has an ax to grind with Trevor. Maybe Trevor has legitimately hurt someone. It's, it's all kind of hard to know, but I just know I like Ryan and I was hurt that Jamie didn't pick Ryan. And I think you're going to miss <laughs> out Jamie because Ryan is nice. Here's the other thing though, is even if it turns out that this girl comes in, oh, Trevor did ABC. Okay. That's fine. Trevor did ABC in his past. Does that mean that Trevor's going to do ABC in his future or he's going to do ABC on Jamie? That's not necessarily true. I mean, there is the old saying, you know, once a cheater, always a cheater. That's not always true. It can be true. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. But it's not always true. 
everything has to have some sort of context to it. Why did this happen? You know, did it happen multiple times? Was it a mistake? Is he just a jerk? Like there needs to be more context to it. So I'm very interested to see this episode and see what this person coming in has to actually say about him. Yeah, because it's really all we have are just sort of bachelor projections and we know there's nothing that Bachelor Nation loves more to do than project things. And because as far as we know, maybe Trevor hasn't cheated on anybody. And, you know, he is A-OK. -okay and they just want us to go down this dark and messy path. There are a few moments that we've sort of seen throughout the previews for this that I am really looking forward to getting to. Quite possibly for not great reasons. All but right, here we go. One of them, there is a spot with one of the women, I don't even remember who it is, but they're basically just like, it's not fun to sing a love song when you're not in love. Oh! It really, I, I understand where they're coming from. Of course. But I also kind of feel like, you know, isn't it your job if you're a singer to occasionally sing love songs if you're not in love? Absolutely, people do it all the time. It's hard. I, I, I kind of get it. I also, I don't get anything about this show. So really, like, I don't know what the rules are. I, who, who determines the winner of this? Does Chris Harrison just come out and be like, I like you the best. You listen to your heart the most. Yeah, I know. That's sort of where I'm wondering what, what this, you know, because we saw in the preview as well, there's going to be like singing contests and, and people, panels of judges. I mean, is it one week you get a rose, the next week, oh, I don't like your voice, so bye. I, I don't, no <laughs> idea. And this is what I think is going to happen. I could be very, very wrong. I think the first next couple episodes are going to be kind of similar to what we had tonight, mm -hmm. where we'll meet some more people, we'll see some more connections, we'll see some more dates, which, by the way, some people are totally getting the shaft on. It's like, who randomly decides who gets to be the couple of people who actually go and leave this house while everyone else is just sort of confined there, which is weird. Yeah, and I'd like to see more than just two people get a date card. I mean, there's so many people here. Let's... We can have a couple of dates, people. Send out four. Like, we, we don't need to see just two. And then, I, I guess, once these episodes are over, the final few will be, okay, now we're going to force the remaining couples who are left to go up on stage and perform in front of our esteemed panel, which seems to be some, like, really weird mixture of, you know, actual people with legitimate singing talent and then people from Bachelor Nation. We see Jason Mraz at one point, which I am already very distressed about because I don't... Did, why are you doing this to yourself, Jason? Jason, why are you doing this to Matt is yeah. really what's happening. Matt loves you. Why are you on this show? One of my favorite Jason Mraz songs, fittingly, is entitled A Beautiful Mess. <laughs> and really, go listen to your own song, Jason. That's what this is. But then we also have, randomly... Here's Rachel Lindsay, and it is sort of like, you know, in no shade, I like Rachel, but it is also sort of like, I'm pretty sure Rachel Lindsay's not a singer, right? I, I, is she a relationship expert because she's been on The Bachelor? Is she there to judge chemistry? I think Rachel is just adorable, and the show wants to put her on as much as possible, and I understand that. I, I, I guess I'll that's take probably Rachel. It. I I don't even care if she can't sing or if she has nothing to do with any aspect of this show, and they just want to put her on. Give me as much Rachel as you want. Can we have Desiree back? Because I think Desiree did that terrible rap with Soldier Boy from that season. That that qualifies as musical experience, right? It does. Yes. Yes. I still yes. remember a lot of that rap, by the way. I'm not. Uh, I'm, well, I'm not going to perform it. I'm going to spare everyone. We don't need to be disliked into oblivion, but it's there. <laughs> it's there. All right, you can do it for me after the video, then. You're welcome. Okay, so <laughs> this is, I guess, how this show is going to work: is that we'll have some performances near the end. Maybe the judges or whoever they are will help to sort of whittle it down and. Maybe it's just in the end, the couples who feel like they have the right compatibility, they will move forward and maybe they'll be happy because there's not always one winner to Bachelor in Paradise, right? Yeah, and this show, uh, like we have said, it has put out the aspect that everybody's here to be famous as well. Everybody's here 
to further their careers. They are all musicians. They are all trying to eat. They either trying to be or are working musicians. So this is an opportunity as well as finding love to also further your career. So there are two different aspects of this show that are out in the open for everyone to know about. I am so curious to see what the ratings for this tomorrow are going to be like. They're going to be outstanding. There is nothing else out there to watch. Well, that's the thing is that I don't know what one month ago, I did not know a single person who was excited for this show. Me too. I was not excited for this show. I was just kind of like, I'm not, I'm just not sure. I heard that they had like a couple different options coming. I was like, oh yeah, we're going to have summer games coming. I'm like, okay, that sounds good. Oh, we're going to have the bachelor, the golden years with some seniors finding love. I'm like, all right, I'm all over that. Oh, here's another singing show except with love. I'm like, okay, man. Yeah. I've had enough, I have enough singing shows, like we're covering Songland now, we got The Voice, we have Idol, we just did AGT The Champions, we do not need a singing Bachelor show, and then I've seen it, and now I'm like, give me all the singing Bachelor show. It is really fascinating. We're probably not getting Summer, well, we're not getting Summer Games, no. we're pro- we may not be getting The Bachelorette, I don't know if we're getting The Golden Years. Oh! We better be getting this, the golden years. Come on with the golden years. This that may is be so fascinating. Our last glittery Seniors rose of hope. Maybe it will happen in 2021. I don't oh, know. I hope so. Well, all right. What what do you guys want to see about this show moving forward? Are you still gonna watch it after the premiere? Let us know, and if you like this video, give us a like, subscribe, and you can support us further by checking the link in the description to the store. And we'll see you here next time.